Hey guys, hey guys, DUCK back again with another installment of on the PS2 NCAA Football 10 Dynasty Mode. After going and pulling off another close victory, two games in a row we've had an ESPN Classic. With that, we went and got two commits. For next year we got a defensive tackle and a defensive end committed. And I asked these three guys that we still have left on our list to come to this week's game against Eastern Michigan. So, honestly, I hope we go and blow Eastern Michigan out of water. So, here we go. As you know, I'm not going to go and change the uniforms again because I hate the white ones because the white ones look tight. Like, look like tights. I will. tell you which side of the field it really is. So I'm going to assume that's this one. Yeah, Connor's still playing as a kicker. A kicker will probably be out, they said, another week. Kickoff returns for 15 yards. Number 26, Swallow returns. Dime because we went all quarter the last game. Oh, somebody got hurt in the first part of that stuff. Get there. Good. Yeah. The guy's back. Rub some dirt on it. Our first defensive sack, and we didn't get any defensive sacks last game. Second and 15. And good the lines on the bottom this time. Yeah, that's some big motivation. Big time mother. I know, Ma. So, first drive on offense. Here we go. The pass game has struggled the last couple of games. So it's really the run game, but... 
And as you guys know, our offensive line is terrible. What I do is throw high here. You gotta give your players a chance to make the play and make the first down. First down. That was looking like a pick for a second, but I think it wasn't. In this situation, you gotta trust the quarterback's decision making. First and ten. Ball on the 45 yard line. Right up the gut. Number 17. I think that's the, probably the best success that I've ever had on a wide receiver around. Of course, I've never had him go and cut through the offensive line. That's something new. Oh, what the heck? Oh. Oops. It's not like audio bolt to the running back. I didn't reset the play. Well, that's actually better, I think. In this situation, you got so we got seven yards. So. Game time. Big move. That one we just timed perfect. I was like, bring it back a little bit, step up, throw the ball. Really good. This is where you just go with what you know the best. First and ten. They're two and five for Pete's sake. I mean, we struggle with teams against winning records. Is when I finally do go and upload the. When I finally catch up on my uploads. And you guys go and see the last game. NIU versus Akron Zips. I thought I'll probably just say it'll say the usual NCAA da, 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 episode whatever I'll send in the description versus shoot that was a terrible block terrible block again yeah. yeah I'll say versus Akron I won't say Zips it'll just actually I'm not sure if I'll put Zips or not but and the quarterback making the right reads. Forgot what I was saying about the zips now. Right up the middle. Number 21 on the carry. Nine yard game on the wood. Wide open. I was like, when you have nobody bat, when you have... Bob, see all about some of course you're gonna dump it off to him. Oh yeah, against the the zips we had like a last thing and it looked like it was gonna be a pick, but a miracle touchdown in OT. And then the first play for um uh, Akron we went and picked him off, so that that was just great. Just add the point after touchdown, right? So as far as regular non OT touchdown in a in like a game. Passing touchdown like a game. So your field goal is good. We are now up seven. Or if I want to try to be funny. 07 to 0. Or double zero. With a minute 18 left. After going a two minute eight second drive. 93. Not 93. Nine plays, 73 yards downfield. Intercepted. Number two makes the interception. Yes. 
Steve Beezer. Just doing so great. It's not a bad play to call in this situation. As a player, you just have to execute the play that the coach is calling. They'll take over at the 35 yard line. First and 10. One for three. Oh, beat him completely. Shoot, he almost did go and lose that one. Oh, yeah, and against Akron, we had way too many drops. We were going to have a first down. He went and dropped it. Then we went for it, and then when I got picked off, I should have known it was deflected away. You only need a few more yards for a score. Come at me, come at me, come at me. Or I guess not. Oh. Number one with the carry. Three yard gain on the play. Get there. Oh! Did he get it? Ah, that was a heck of a dive, though. I think he got it. I think he got it. I thought that I saw that fuck came down. Let's see. Did he get it? Ball. Got it. He got it. He got what he got the left tip of his foot. Right there. Ah, but he lost the No! They gave it to us! Yes! What? This is what I hate about that they'll be like call reversed. And we call reversed on what? Hey, where were we? Hold on a second, where were we before? Were we on the 10? Yeah, we're still on... This is what I hate, they'll be like, call reversed, and it's like, what's the call reversed? He lost it as he went down, which stinks. If he would have been able to hold on to it, that would have been a great catch. It's my fault, I ran into my own blocker. Let's see what the kicker can do. They're in this case the punter. Yeah, but if I would have been able to go and cut do a bigger cut to the inside, we probably would have been able to. Yeah, I think I'll run the clock down. Right to the end. and I'm so sorry, the line's back on top again. Three, two. And that's the way we're in the first quarter. Online. It's here. I said I honestly do not know why it does that. Or you guys may not even be seeing it. It may just be me on my camera that it it looks that way. I don't remember, I haven't watched one of my videos in a long time to check. Tries to do a spin move, did good on the first one, fails on the second. Five wide, definitely prevent offense. All right, second and ten, ball on the twenty-seven yard line. And he slips out. That's things. And prevent again. Third and fourteen.
Across the middle. What a great catch. Number 11 makes the reception. 19 yard gain on the play. My goal is to move the ball downfield. If we shut him out, we got three more commits. If we could go and shut him out. The thing that stinks is we have 34 seniors, so. Uh, I got blocked. I was going to have him because he had just one and cut. Number seven, the intended receiver on the play. So I need to get four more straight completions I tell my to get back to, to 500. To so that's not too bad. Shit, that one got blocked because that was going to be a completion. Wide open again. They just leave him. They just completely forget who they're supposed to be covering. And that's why I'm averaging more than 10 yards of pass. I'm going to take 12.8. Oh yeah, and also in the last game against Akron. Akron, Akron. We went and messed up on, on a, an option twice. First one, the running back one picked it up and scored. Second time, the backup was in because number one, everyone got hurt. We messed up. I did something stupid. I was already, I was in the middle of the offensive line and I tried to toss it and went into the end zone. A wide receiver fell on it, but somehow I ended up crediting our running back for it. I mean, excuse me, I'm sorry. <laughs> Not the running back, the, the backup QB for the run. Now the line's on top. Oh no, wait. Was it already? <laughs> I don't remember, so I guess. I had to take three midterms today, so that's why I'm, I seem so out of it. I need to take my calculus midterm as soon as I got to school this morning. My my I'm a financial algebra midterm from when was it? Maybe like 12:30 to 1:15. And ooh, I didn't see that one coming. And then. You're gonna laugh. I need to take a gym midterm. Ten <laughs> negative one. A gym midterm from eleven. Eleven. One twenty two. Whoa. Okay, nice and soon. Like, you know, from one twenty two. Two o'clock. How's that considered a pass? That was a fail of an option. I guess since the wide receiver, since the running back was still in front of him, it was considered a pass. Oh, wow, what a draw. If you, I know you guys can't, probably can't say, but 341 left. In the second half. I mean, second quarter. Somebody got there. What are any completions for? Number two, the intended receiver on the board. Lock that punt. Lock that punt. Which I hope we will eventually. Number 66, back to bottom. 
Said lead. I know it's a little bit risky, but our receiver's been good today. And oh, almost picked off. Then he caught it, and then he lost it. A bad play to call. It's called the game And now, as you can tell, we're on the bottom again. I just weren't looked up. Oh wow. We got one on one. He just throw it. And the best wide receivers will go and get that ball. That one almost just picked off. I probably should have done spin in there. That was my mistake. Spin move. Good, 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 good. Touchdown! I was so happy this time I heard it do the spin move. Barely. seconds it took us to go 51 yards it's more than a yard per second Kickball return 17 yards number 25 24-0 now I'm going to now beating Hofstra they're completely destroying half shows bad, but this is even worse. They're, they're actually a ranked team. I mean, they're not a ranked team. I mean, they actually have, even though they're unranked, if you saw when we started the game, they actually have a rank. Hofstra doesn't even play for rank, regardless. Right now, we're eating out. Say Hofstra when they eating out, it really wouldn't matter because they don't go. My friend says that they're in the Division 1 AA, which is probably the reason that. They're unranked. And always will be unranked. Starting to think about what are we going to do for our schedule next year. It's going to be hard since. Like I said, 34 seniors we have. That's more than half of our team is going to be leaving. A couple of seniors I redshirted, but... So do we really want to go and... Oh, they can run the clock. We scored in 42 seconds. Can we really go and try to go and do a harder schedule? Because I know a D, we have a DMS schedule. I'm going to try to get a harder schedule than that. Definitely going to try to get a harder schedule than that next year. But uh, If I knew he was, he was going to block it, then I would not want to call the fair catcher. I would have tried to take it. 
Minute 22 seconds. We could get down the field. Their, de their defense is terrible. Honestly, I think if they were using Akron, Akron's 3 5 3 defense, they would be so much better. Shoot. Oh, and he caught it between the defenders, and there's a fight. Oh! That is not what we want here. Hold on one second, guys. I'm videoing. It's okay. Okay, I just needed to talk to my dad for a second. This is what I would do, so how about it? Nah, I'm not gonna do what you wanna do, Corsa. I'm gonna go with the HBC, and even the word tight end is terrible. And relatively slow. Can he get there? Oh shoot, that could have been real bad. He's credited with a pass deflection. He should be credited with a drop, with a drop pick, if anything. Okay, so that's the one thing. I wish that our our wide receivers are great. They are great, no doubt about it. I mean, not real. They're 80 in that. They're decent. They're like great to good. But our tight end and running back, uh, tight end and half back there, just terrible. And he beat him. He beat him. He beat him. Oh, you gotta catch it. Any, any avoids the tackle. 72 yard completion. I told you, a minute 22, we are going to score on this one. Uh, that's just my, oh, my dryer going off. Or oh, washing machine, one or the other. Excuse me. Oh, I never noticed those X looking thing, X looking things. They look like they're holding a brick or something. I'm, I never noticed those in the background. It was 29 seconds, it was 62 yards. We're getting better and better with each drive. I would tell you that. Oh, ow! It's like, ugh, but they're all like groaning and stuff. But it sounds like they're saying ow and that, but it's. Really right. They'll start the drive at the 29-yard line. Negative six yards, and for us, 275. Get there. Ah, oh, almost one picked it off. The pass falls incomplete. Four for 11, 10 for 15. Yeah, number one's definitely having a... If anybody, this is a question that goes out to any viewer that's watching this when it does go up. Do you know who number one was for Northern Illinois back in the 08 09 season? Please tell me. I would love to know. Four seconds. Off. I think we could probably go and go up thirty-eight nothing. By the time we go into half, and there's a timeout. That I just called. Sorry guys, sorry that I was late on it. I was looking at my phone trying to see who it was. You know in college football that clock stops when the chains are moved on first downs. Cut. 
Oh, wide open, wide open, wide open. Ah! Oh, he had that too. He had that one too. We're gonna go for it. We're gonna call the Sands that play, and they're still gonna leave him wide open. And there he goes. Touchdown. What do we have? 33, 40 seconds long. I mean, when I when I got the kick, I think it was like 33, so it only took us like 12 seconds. The first time he knew that he dropped it, he knew that he was going to have to get the second one. Yeah, we're definitely getting those three commits no matter what, because we literally just, we are literally just blowing them up. Perfect. Chandler Harnish. In this long yard situation, you just gotta go out there and perform your gonna have to look that up. Chand Chandler Harnish. It's not written in stone that that is who the guy is, because you can't tell But their names just being numbers and stuff. Ah, damn. Incomplete pass. Number 11, the intended receiver of all the play. When you've got a bunch of yards to gain, your players might be a little excited. I'd calm them down right here. Second and 10. Ball on the 38-yard line. Come get me. Touchdown. This kid has been on fire today. I could have probably threw it to one of the two in the middle. And they would have definitely have went and gotten it and just scored. And I took a risk on that one. And we are still able to go and fall into the end zone. Completion, then we go and get the touchdown. Now, yes, and the score going to the half. You cannot see because of the stupid black line that keeps on coming up across. It's forty-five. Zero. NIU leads the Eastern Michigan Eagles. And we will be back with the second half. 